It is outrageous that Lauren Boebert voted with the big drug companies and against lowering the price of insulin. In Colorado, it's one of the latest ads criticizing Lauren Boebert. She voted three times to keep the medication that keeps me alive unaffordable. Her priorities are out of whack. Whack, which is also slang for pleasuring a man's you-know-what, is by design. The barrage and double entendres have arrived in the midst of what TPM and the Associated Press describe as Lauren Boebert's apology tour. Quote, the new persona is damage control, according to the AP, as the lawmaker tries to clean up the negative attention she received a few weeks back when she was caught red-handed lying about vaping, fondling, and getting thrown out of a Beetlejuice show back home in Denver. Bobert's in-person apologies are similar to the soft-spoken ones she has made on television. Well, I mean, first of all, um, what happened is I messed up. Uh, I went on a date night, and I am a congresswoman and a public figure, but believe it or not, I'm human too. Still, the trolling of Lauren Bobert continues. On Halloween, outside a Colorado campaign office, demonstrators erected this blow-up worm character from Beetlejuice as a reminder of Bobert sexually groping her date in public. Other constituents wore this, the official Lauren Boebert Halloween costume. Other trick-or-treaters displayed Lauren's date, and the adult-sized costume one size fits most. I have apologized to my constituents, will continue to do so. Um, all of those um, in Colorado who may have felt um, let down, um, I, I hear you. As if the mockery wasn't bad enough, Boebert is now polling behind Democratic challenger Adam Frisch, who she beat in 2022 by less than 600 votes. You know, the voters are sick and tired of this embarrassment, whether it's an audience member watching a theater performance. But what's even worse is her embarrassment in the halls of Congress and those committee meetings when she's not focused on the job. She's very, very focused on herself. And there's real issues out there with real access to health care, reproductive right protection. You know, let's remember that Representative Bobar wants to ban all abortions across the country as well. And one of the reasons we're doing so well is because we're focused on the task at hand, which is what do the voters want, and not this angertainment industry that she's so proud of participating in, even in her off time. According to the Associated Press, Frisch has raised at least $7.7 million, the third largest House campaign chest nationwide, to Boebert's $2.4 million. He's asking voters to help him stop the circus, reviving a slogan from the 2022 election. Democratic groups separate from Frisch are also seeing a windfall and are pouring the money into anti boebert campaign ads. If there's one thing that sticks with you from serving as you leave no one behind. But Lauren Bolvert voted against health care for veterans who were exposed to the toxic burn pits. They come back and they're sick. We have a responsibility to make sure that these individuals are taken care of when they return from war. For her part, on policy issues, Bolvert is trying to focus Colorado voters on President Biden. He has made it clear that he cares more about appeasing the radical climate change activists than protecting the millions of oil and gas workers and producers in America. I was disappointed but not surprised this July when the Biden administration filed this proposed rule entitled Fluid Mineral Leases and Leasing Process, which mandates provisions from the partisan so-called Inflation Reduction Act. So clearly Lauren Boebert has gotten better the past few years at reading. Still, the controversies over her, even from the hearings and the House floor, are hard to forget. And Boebert's greatest hits, or worst hits, if you will, are lengthy. Uh, amendment. Um, it decreases the salary of the deputy, uh, deputy under secretary of the Food and Nutrition Services. And that was Lauren Boebert on the House floor glitching out. And um, Madam Chair, I would like to reserve for the time being. Gentlewoman reserves. Translation, I need more time to remember what I'm supposed to, to be talking about. For what? Madam Chair, one moment. My apologies, I do not have amendment number 77 in front of me, um, but Madam Chair, I do urge adoption of amendment 77 to be um, considered to decrease the salary of um, the deputy secretary. Coming from this administration and from the Democrat Party, is, is there anything ever in good faith? 
produce the documents and, and show us real information. And if you can't, well, maybe you just made the whole thing up and we're not going to default on June 1st. She called the potential default a hoax and strongly opposed raising the debt ceiling. We, we can't. We have already done our part. If anything, I want to increase the ante. She tweeted, you can count me as a no on this deal. We can do better. And yet, Lauren Boebert did not turn up to vote on debt ceiling she furiously campaigned against. If hammers are the cause of more death than firearms, then maybe we need to start having background checks on hammers. I mean, look out, Black & Decker. Liberal hacks are at it again with their phony Lauren Boebert is so dumb hashtag. I don't think she's a moron. I wouldn't say that she's a moron just because I... Colorado's Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert repeatedly yelled from the House floor trying to interrupt President Biden during his speech. I know. One of those... One of those soldiers is my son, Major Bo Biden. We have a resident in the White House who has embarrassed our country. I, I think that people would love if I would tone it down, but you know, we, we had um, our, our Lord Jesus that certainly didn't tone it down for anyone. Um, I went to get um, birth control and um, I was there at the counter and went to pay for it. And um, the, the price was very, very high. I said, wow, is this a three, six month prescription? No, ma'am, this is one month. And I said, it's cheaper to have a kid. And I left it there. And now I have my third son, Caden Boebert. She said, what? Lauren Boebert said, the Constitution is not evolving. To say that spits in the face of every single one of our founders. I thought the Bill of Rights was part of the Constitution evolving. That is part of the Constitution. So wasn't it a moronic for, for her to say that? Still, when Republicans are asked about Boebert's self-proclaimed Christianity and the contrast with her personal actions, there is not much mercy. And a lot of GOP voters are pointing out Lauren Boebert's hypocrisy. What do you say to Lauren Boebert? I say that if you're going to talk the talk, you need to walk the walk. I mean, we all answer to God. Not everybody's a Christian just because they say they believe in God. I mean, Satan believes in God. Satan knows scripture. She's out there saying the most dangerous thing in America is drag shows. And yet she's at a family event with her hand between some guy's legs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I don't know about in public. Do it in private, but. She's a good looking girl. I think at the end of the day, we can all be hypocrites at certain times in our lives. And, you know, for me, if God saved that in me and, you know, understanding what's right and what's wrong and leading my life through faith and choosing not to do those things. I think that a lot of people put on a show for camera versus when they think that they are behind closed doors. She's talking about family values and then she's at this family. Was she was wrong. It was inappropriate what she did. It was wrong and inappropriate. So the question is, as Lauren Boebert crisscrosses her district, apologizes and tries to make amends, can she save her seat and save her political career? Have you ever been arrested? The question, raise your hand, was have you ever been arrested? And those are six out of nine Republicans running in Colorado's 4th Congressional District. That Republican on the end is proudly yelling, twice! I will tell you, I've been arrested twice. And every time it was for fighting because somebody needed a little attitude adjustment. On the other end, another view shows Lauren Boebert high-fiving the candidate next to her. My arrest was just a simple traffic violation that was unpaid. And with the head toss, that Boebert statement is a lie. As Business Insider reports, she said her arrest was over a traffic violation when it was for skipping a court-ordered hearing. More on the Boebert whopper in a moment. <laughs> The candidate's celebrations and laughter over the arrest records was sparked by a controversy involving one candidate, Mike Lynch. As the recent headline says, Colorado House GOP leader resigns post after trying to hide DUI and gun charges. Lynch got help hiding until recently a 2022 arrest. But despite the arrest and cover-up, Lynch is still running for Congress. We need people that understand people, people that um, are, are human and make mistakes. To his credit, at least Lynch admitted that drunk driving, possessing a gun while drunk, and then covering it all up were mistakes. Lauren Boebert, while admitting her arrest record, seemed giddy and admitted no mistakes. But clearly Boebert was worried about her record given her eagerness to try and whitewash it. We get to say what for. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> My arrest was just a simple traffic violation that was unpaid. In fact, notes the Colorado Times recorder, Boebert has been arrested multiple times and not for unpaid tickets. 
For example, in 2016, Bobert rolled her truck on a rural road near Rifle. After her accident, she was given a ticket with a date for a mandatory hearing, which she skipped without informing the court. Then she ignored the court's pleas to schedule a new hearing or possibly even settle the matter simply by contacting the court. After four months of waiting, the Garfield County Court finally arrested Bobert in February 2017, and she landed briefly in jail where she was fingerprinted and a mugshot was taken. After a court appearance, she paid a $100 fine and the matter was settled. In another example, she was arrested in 2015 at the Country Jam Music Festival in Grand Junction after she encouraged underage drinkers detained by police to flee custody. Police reports describe Bobert this way. Lauren continued yelling and causing the underage drinkers to become unruly. Bobert failed to appear for two separate hearings following her disorderly conduct arrest. The Mesa County Court issued a warrant for her arrest in the case after she didn't show up. Mm. At the Republican candidate's debate, it was fine for Lauren Bobert to raise her hand to answer, yes, yeah, she had been arrested. But to do so with a smile and laughter and then to explain the record by lying about it? Well, that is shameful. Then again, that is Lauren Boebert. She is incapable of recognizing that her antics, even in a room full of Republicans, are embarrassing. And the bar at this debate was low. Colorado's 4th Congressional District is the most conservative in the state. And here you had six of nine candidates at the debate admitting they had been arrested. A seventh candidate, Justin Schreiber, couldn't be there because he is currently facing felony charges, including stalking and harassment. So that's seven out of ten Republicans running for Congress in Colorado's 4th District with arrest records. So much for the party of law and order. Still, Lauren Boebert came out of this looking the worst because of the two-faced way she handled this. What an imbecile. And by the way, Lauren Boebert could have added to her arrest record recently had it not been for her ex-husband and local police dropping an incident. I, I think that people would love if I would tone it down, but you know, we, we had um, our, our Lord Jesus that certainly didn't tone it down for anyone. Did Jesus ever try to punch somebody in the face? Lauren Boebert now allegedly has. Washington Post headline, Boebert's ex-husband calls police after fight with Congresswoman. The representative from Colorado denies allegations that she punched her former spouse. Silt Colorado police confirmed they were called on Saturday night to the Miner's Claim restaurant, which is in Boebert's home district. Quote, Jason Boebert called the police after meeting with a congresswoman at the restaurant and claimed he was a victim of domestic violence. Jason Boebert told the Daily Beast that Lauren Boebert had punched him in the face several times. That means staying in the fight. In a statement to reporters, Boebert denied her ex-husband's claims and said the incident is another reason she is moving away from the district. Quote, this is a sad situation for all that keeps escalating and another reason why I'm moving, she said. I didn't punch Jason in the face and no one was arrested. I will be consulting with my lawyer about the false claims he made against me and evaluate all of my legal options. The relationships we have cultivated over the past few years are deeply cherished and unbreakable. In a short interview with the Denver Post, Jason Boebert said he followed up with the Silk Police on Sunday and said he does not want to press charges. Quote, I don't want nothing to happen. Her and I were working through a difficult conversation. The Post said Jason Boebert ended the interview without elaborating. After all, joy is not just a suggestion. It is our battle plan. Silk Police say they are reviewing restaurant surveillance videos and will treat this incident like any other case. Legal experts say if there is video of an assault, police could bring charges regardless of what the Boberts now want. Lauren Boebert, who represents Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, filed for divorce from her husband in April, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce became final in October. The couple married in 2005, and they have four sons and one grandchild. At the end of December, Boebert announced she was leaving Colorado's 3rd District to run for election in the more conservative 4th, and she blamed that move on Hollywood celebrities giving money to her 3rd District Democratic opponent. When you have Barbara Streisand coming in and donating to the Democrat, when you have Ryan Reynolds coming in and donating to the Democrat, uh, it shows you that Hollywood is trying to buy their way into Congress. They do not have policies that they are running on. They're simply running against Lauren Boebert. This announcement is a fresh start following a pretty difficult year for me and my family. Surveillance video revealed that she was indeed vaping, as well as she and her companion explicitly groping each other repeatedly while they oh were in God. their seats. It's tested my faith, my strength, and my abilities, both as a mom and a congresswoman. It's been humbling and challenging, but it's also given me perspective. Well, here was the perspective from radio host Howard Stern. Lauren Boebert 
is a disgrace to this country, it, not because of the, the video. You are 100 percent right. Forget the it's politics. She's yeah, in a okay. uh, titty dress. If you saw the video, she's in a titty dress. She's with some dude. Looks like she's, you know, obviously vaping, but also looks like she might be grabbing his penis during uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> By the way, Lauren Boebert did not get arrested over the Beetlejuice show incident, although some legal experts say she could have been charged with disorderly conduct. In other words, for all of the incidents that led to Lauren Boebert being arrested, there are several other incidents where she came close. And yet, Lauren Boebert portrays herself as less criminal than other Republicans, a person who was only arrested for unpaid traffic citations. There is idiotic, and then there is Lauren Boebert. With her sidearm, family photos worshiping assault weapons, arrest record, and habitual lies, Lauren Boebert represents the worst in American politics. And I have a feeling that even the mostly Republican voters in her new Colorado district will also find Boebert to be an embarrassment. We will find out soon. The Republican primary in Colorado is in early March. By the way, some MAGA extremists recently got laughed out of New York City when they couldn't figure out subway turnstiles and fare cards. Mm, you can see this video at the link below. It got a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular was from Gordon Strong, 5232. He wrote, nobody ever accused white supremacists of being smart. Spot on. I'm curious to read all of your comments about Lauren Boebert. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.